What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial versus today, Dragon Ball, Kefla versus Goku. So, couldn't really get any like, good images of them fighting, like not like side, like just across from each other, you know. Um, so I thought I'd just do a sort of a face-off kind of versus. So, Goku Ultra Instinct, Kefla in the Berserker kind of, well not totally lost her cool, but you know, the green hair kind of staring at each other face off the way in you know <laughs> so we start with goku i'm on a landscape page use a pencil eraser hit pause if i go too fast right and i like to start with the nose so we go diagonal out like so and then sort of back in with this sort of l sort of shape and then dragon ball we can see the shadow on the nose so you just add that there and then the forehead goes up to there And then it goes around like so. So once we know where his brow is, we know where his eyebrow goes. So it ticks here beside the eyebrow, beside the brow, sorry. And the eyebrow ticks out like so, and then curves down the back. And then this goes up there, and then it curves back down and gets skinnier as we go down towards the front. So there. And his eyebrows are black when he's in this form, so we can color them in. Like so. And sometimes he has lines on the end of his eyebrow just there. So Dragon Ball Eye kind of looking, it's kind of bigger. It's kind of like a, it's not like a real skinny sort of eye. It's kind of like wider. So a straight line here, a longer line there. And then you can kind of add a line across the bottom of those just there. So then his iris and his pupil. And there, another one. And then we have those ticks on the cheek, like so. And then top lip curves out from the nose, back in. It should be, it should be there actually. No, <laughs> I did it from the shadow. Sorry, it should be from, it should be from here. Oh, silly! It curves out there. I'll just erase that line. Sorry. Whoops. So it comes out from the bottom of the nose there. And then see from the, not from the shadow corner, that was my mistake, sorry, slipped up. And then bottom lip sticks out here. And then goes in. And then his mouth comes out. Down there. He can have a shadow sort of on the bottom sort of lip area there as well. And then his chin. Comes out, back in, and then back up to here for the jaw. And then the jaw will keep going around this corner up to here, like so. Okay, so we go back up and do his hair because it covers some of his ear. So we'll do the fringe lines first. So we go down, touch his eyebrow, back up to there. And then the next one comes down across the eyebrow here. Back up like so. You know, and if you go over, you'll erase because it's kind of silver on the edge here. And the next one. Out, back up, and then he's one more that kind of goes out behind his head, just here. All right, and then his ear just comes out from here. Like that, and then bones and ligaments on the inside, so this kind of stuff. Like 
cartilage, I should say. So then he has massive hair, right? So his, the back of his hair just here comes out from his neck. This is the back of his neck and the front of his neck. We might as well do it here. And then we got like neck muscle line goes that way and go on here. And then his hair. So starting small, right? Real small out the back. And then we start to get gradually sort of bigger as we go up. And then he has this round part of his head here somewhere. Just a small one. And then he's a little spike. Sometimes that round line can be bigger. Depends on the style we're going for. And then that goes right up to the top of my page. Back down to there. And then real big one. This will go out to there. Back down. And then out like so. Down like so. And then this goes out. Where does this come back in now? Does that touch this? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Back to there. That means this one. And then a smaller one just sticking out from behind his head here. Like so. So Goku in his Ultra Instinct form has all these silver lines around. So we're gonna draw them in, okay? So we go, we're just following our edge sort of thing, right? Like that, you're just going around. Adding these kind of just black areas, really. And then we can add some texture lines to these as well. Optional, but I think it will. Like so, so silver around, black in the middle. All right, so we'll go do his chest. So his chest kind of sticks out here, bumps down like that. There's like a muscle line here. And then it'll go back up around his neck. Kind of there, touch his shoulder and curve down. And then his trapezius at the back. And the shoulder muscle here, around, and then his back muscle out there, tricep. And then another neckline kind of there. And sometimes, so you can have 
scratches on his face. I don't know if he's been fighting. And then like chest muscle there. And we can see his nipple. There. And then another part of his chest. There. And then shoulder muscle lines. I always say the shoulders in Dragon Ball characters kind of look like basketballs. <laughs> three deltoid muscles, one, two, three. Broken up into sections. I think there's like a shadow underneath his chin just here a little bit. Boom. Okay. That's Goku. And he's looking at Kefla. Let's see what we can do. So we'll do her nose again. And she's like more curvy uh, sort of a face than Goku. But let's see. Take it slow. So her nose goes out. Yeah, wasted, wasted, wasted. Sure. <laughs> Do you like how organized I am? <laughs> so her nose goes out that way. Right? I kind of don't like that nose that's in the picture. But goes out and then in and then change direction into there right. and then her brow goes up that way and then her forehead goes up pretty long yeah, it goes up pretty far and we've got like a hairline that goes back that way so if we know where her brow is, we know where her eyebrow roughly will be. So we add, I never added a frown line there, like a frown line. And then this eyebrow ticks up this way. Does it go underneath her hair? I think it does, but we'll end it say here. Real thin. Up there. So her eyes are pretty square again. And does she have eyelashes? Maybe. So point there. And then it's kind of round around here. Like so. And then you just join those together to there. And I think she has some eyelashes, so we'll just add some back here. Like that. Okay, and then her iris, the green eye, no pupil, just green eye. All right, and then top lip comes out from this part of the nose comes out there and I'll add I can add the shadow now. So the shadow goes to there. And then I'll just get it back out in. And then her mouth comes out down. And then her chin comes down this way. Back in. And around for her jaw. It's a kind of a round sort of face. Add a bit more scratches and stuff on Goku in a while. Just looking at him, I think he needs more. I'll do it now. Right, and then just like some shadow maybe under her bottom lip. Okay, so her hair then, right? So we can see big hair spike comes out from here. Okay, so it goes out around and it comes right down 
beside her eyebrow. Okay, so. Let me cut it off a little bit. So there. This will go up, around, this goes back into her head here. There's like a hairline here, but it's like done just with like these texture lines that go around. Like that. And then there's another one that comes out the front here, down in front of her nose. Another one at the front, so it'll go this way, up and in. One back here, so it goes out this way somewhere. like a hairline or something here and then her ear sticks out here and she has an earring in her ear back here so yeah, so it kind of goes into here and then the earring comes out underneath so you've got the the bit that sticks into her ear. And then there's like a ball, I think, if I'm right. And then a bit that comes around. Like so. Right, and then ear lines inside. So again, easiest way is sort of letter J kind of thing and then you can add more sort of lines if you want just there okay so the rest of her hair then so we've got a big massive hair spike here and then around here And then one here. And then big hair that goes off the back of the page. So if you can fit this in, you know, feel free to add more. But it goes really far back, so I might be able to fit it all in. So like that one goes off to a spike back there. And there's a couple at the top here. Small one here. And then like one going back that way, going back that way, another one there. And then some coming out from behind her ear, kind of like Goku's here. Going off there. And then we got texture all over. So what that means is just you add these kind of texture lines on the hair following the kind of shape. And you can add as much of this as you want. Some people like to add more, some people like to add less. It's whatever you want to do, really. Makes it look a little bit hairy. Right, roughly speaking, like that, right? And then the back of her neck comes out like so. And then the front of her neck, just there. And then her clothing, so costume kind of comes out this way. And it comes down, 
and we can see her collarbone and her top of her skin of her chest there. Should we see a bit more of her jaw? Maybe. Maybe something like that. Right, and then her chest sticks out, goes around like so. And then back there, and you can see her shoulder. Comes around here. In, and then her tricep out and down, bicep out and down there. Then an inside line fold on her shirt, and then her sort of stomach tank top, and then maybe a line just there. Maybe a neckline. Right, so if you want, then you can add like aura. So different ways of doing this. So you can do a spiky around. I'm just looking for a reference now. I tell you, I go with the. We give Kefla sort of a spiky one. I'm coming around here. All right, and then we'll go with a sort of an orb type one for Goku. What I mean by that is like sort of more blobby kind of energy. So kind of like, you know, this kind of thing. We'll put it in behind Kefla's here. So we'll do that kind of blue glowing maybe. Like that, right? But that's it. That's how to draw Kefla versus Goku. Hope was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.